What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How y'all doing? Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> um, today's the meet the one year anniversary of Me Too. And you know the lady, the I, I don't remember the lady's name, black lady. Um, she got a big nose, man. She she's breathing all the white man's hair. <laughs> she created it. You know, and uh, it's ripped through Hollywood like wildfire. It's going everywhere. The courts everywhere. The Congress, the government, you know, all in Hollywood. Schools everywhere. TV sto shows everywhere. You know, uh, TV stations. What has changed? Are women safer now? You know, um, I never see anybody putting, like, stats up <laughs> saying, uh, we need the the, the um, sexual assault, like uh, more convictions are, are 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 happening less. You know, it's really not about getting more convictions. It should be about this happening, this uh, uh, events that they're trying to fight happening less. You know, um, and I'll, I'll say this a lot. Like, <laughs> you know, I they needed a distraction. You know that. Um, Black Lives Matter wasn't really popping. Antifa is too unhinged. You know, they'll use all these groups, you know what I mean, to uh, quote unquote form a resistance against, you know, um, the government of uh, the current government uh, led by the president, Faux Five, Donald J. Trump. You know, um, you know, I, and just because I think Hollywood had. Um, that type of culture because that they had that casting couch culture you know i don't think the rest of um america did had that same type of culture you know it's it's kind of crazy that they're trying to say hollywood is leading leading um the rest of the country being an example of what happens in the rest of the country in various industries now i know culturally yes hollywood has a significant influence but i don't know about the workplace i don't think People was raping women left and right at the workplace like they were in Hollywood. You know, um, we have to look at that here. You know, they got a couple scalps. They got Weinstein. He's, he's going to trial, even though I think he's going to finesse his way out of it because he got them dollars and that backing. They got Bill Cosby has been put out the paint. You know, wh what are these victories? You know, how is like <laughs> I'm not going to try to short anybody's quote unquote justice. But how are these victories for, you know, quote unquote, the Me Too movement? Because I like I say, um, I think you want to prevent. You don't want to like call them in, you know, just like their some of their uh, reasoning. They were they like they want men to know. We want men to know you, if you touch a woman, you're going to have face consequences. Well, most men do know that. You know what I mean? The degenerates and dirtbag criminals, they might go try it anyway, but most people in the West, the West, where we live, United States of America is part of the West, know that there's severe consequences come with assaulting a woman. Especially black men. You, know, you better touch that, not touch that white woman. <laughs> That's all I heard growing up. You know, but... I think it needs to expand or it's going to be, well, it's fraudulent anyway. You know, they need, there, there needs to be consequences for um, false accusations. And, you know, uh, I think Greg Olson's brother, he was a quarterback for, um, I don't know what team, I don't want to say what college. But anyway, his, his, Greg Olson plays for the, uh, the Panthers. His brother just got found not guilty of a rape accusation. They kicked him out of school and everything. You know, you know what I'm saying? A lot of men's lives get ruined. Like I said, I think I told y'all before, I went to school when I was going to college. Um, two brothers I was friends with, you know what I mean? They, they yammed them up. They had, ran, had a threesome, ran train, whatever you want to call them, a girl. she tell her parents, her mom, mom said, find out there was black men. They were like, oh no, they must have raped you. And, and she went to the police said they raped her. It's as simple as it went down just like that. Next, you know, they get kicked out of school. Their lives change totally different. You see? That's, that's what it is. This is fucked up. You know, so... They're going to juice the hell of this Me Too movement. 
They're definitely, as long as Trump is in office, they're going to juice the hell out of this shit, man. They're going to juice the hell out of me, too. You know, this is something I think, uh, because, you know, a lot of women watch, I mean, watch TV and sit there and think, trying to be active. You know, these these Hollywooders, they, they join right along. Amy Schumer and all of them. Oh, fighting against Kavanaugh and shit like that. You know, if, if there were a legitimate movement, they wouldn't be, like, trying to, you know, uh, finesse, um, finesse um, in the political game. But that's what they're doing because, they, you know, that's what Soros paid for. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I should rename it. I should name it. Did Soros get his money's worth from the Me Too movement? And I would say yes. <laughs> It's a lot more. It's been shown to be a lot more effective than Black Lives Matter and Antifa. You know, uh, a little more le legitimate than Antifa. Uh, Antifa has some had some moments, but it's one year anniversary. Me too. What do y'all think about it? Let me know in the comment section. Patreon, PayPal, appreciate it. Uncle Hotep's been told you Thursday night at eight. Check the rebroadcast. Uncle Hotep Factor on Sundays. Peace.